Good day. We're going to talk about clearance to combustibles and product options. This is Joe. And we're going to talk about this section of the design process. And the reason we're doing that is grease duct does not equal zero clearance. We see a lot of over designs out there, and we're really just adding cost to the project unnecessarily. Now, the chart we're going to be working from is on the back of the design checklist. And here is that chart. The first thing we're going to do is figure out our diameter. In this case, it's going to be 16 inch diameter. And we have four double wall and one single wall option. In this practice exercise, we're going to use a 16 inch diameter and we're going to determine the clearance from the outer wall of the duct to the combustible. The first system, the clearance to combustible from the outer wall to the combustible is 18 inches. So that's going to be our DCL product. And at zero clearance, system two is going to be the DIS 3Z product. Your six inch, your three inch, and your one inch clearance. Let's do another one. So our 18 inch. First off, we're going to figure out the diameter, which is 26 inches. Our first system has 18 inches of clearance. So once again, the DCL product. Zero clearance is the DIS-3Z, the DAS-1, which is air insulation between the double wall product, one inch of insulation, two inches of insulation. Okay, let's do one more. Diameter is 12 inches. Now, in terms of functional engineering, the clearance to combustibles and product options are probably your number two way to save cost. And to make the right decision, you need to answer to a couple questions. Is there a requirement for two-hour fire rating or UL2221 listing? If so, this is a DIS3Z zero clearance product. But if that is not the case, what are your clearances throughout the duck run? Because grease duck does not equal zero clearance. So if you want the right product for the application at the lowest cost, focus on understanding your clearance to combustible and your product options. Thank you very much and look forward to next time.